Ladies and gentlemen, the final haul of 2018. Whew, thank God. Hey everyone, welcome to another exciting episode, another edition of A We Can Geek Them here on YouTube. It is the final video of 2018. It is the final haul of this year. And thank goodness, because <laughs> it has been brutal on the wallet and on the mind, because there is a ton of quality content out there. So let's begin with manga, as I typically do with my haul videos because mangas are cool and fun. Continuing my berserk journey, now I was supposed to feature uh, the whole series, the, the, the volumes I was missing, I should say, sorry about that. Uh, but unfortunately, they simply did not arrive. The package was lost, so I had to order a, a refund replacement, if you will. But uh, yeah, I did get a volume 22. Then we jump to 27th. 28, 29, 31, 33. Volume 34, 35, and volume uh, 38. So that is a lot of Berserk. I am only missing four volumes, if I remember correctly. I also did get Wolfsmon Volume 3, Volume 7, and Volume 8 of that time. I got reincarnated as a slime. I love this series so much. It is extremely fun. I just have a great time reading it with wonderful, colorful characters that, uh, yeah, just, it's a blast. And there, Volume 8 is the last one, so I am up to date. Continuing my nautical adventure with uh, One Piece, I did get a bunch of the Omnibus editions, if you will, the three-in-ones. Here we have Volume 4, Volume 5, Volume 6, 7, and volume 8. So, well, technically speaking, I would be up to volume 24 of this excellent manga series. So look forward in 2019 to me reviewing arcs. I mentioned in my previous uh, One Piece video that I posted. Uh, by the way, if you watch that video and you're watching this now, I noticed that I didn't go too in-depth with my impressions of the manga and all that stuff, simply because One Piece is so large it's such a massive series that I didn't want to just talk a little bit about it and I wanted to uh, do an East Blue review and, and in this case I'm holding here uh, Baroque Works, all that stuff. I wanted to review the arts per se. I just wanted to talk about how I got into uh, reading, how we got he to here to this point in 2018 where I'm holding One Piece manga volumes. So yeah, that was a little clarification on my part. To finish off the manga segment, of course, My Hero Academia Volume 16, one of the coolest looking volumes in my opinion. Love the play on uh, red and black. And I got it, uh, I got this uh, for dirt cheap, uh, missing from my Ito library. It is Junji Ito's Cat Diary, Yon and Mu. This was a pretty interesting read. I don't necessarily think I will do a video on it, but uh, not being a cat person myself, I still related to uh, Ito's uh, humor and just what he was trying to tell with the story of his cats because if you have a pet or just, you know, you can be an animal fan or lover of pets and all that stuff and still appreciate uh, the wonderful hijinks and the adventures that owners get into with their pets. So I, I thought it was really fun, really cute. Uh, that, that's it for manga. That's a lot of manga. Now, I don't collect as many manga as my Omni Bros and uh, my Omni Pals and everybody else, but it's definitely my largest manga haul to date, I think. Uh, let's move on to hardcovers, trades, and all that stuff. This was a uh, near mint condition recommendation from my friend Omar. Sky Doll Volume 4, gigantic, super duper large edition. This thing is massive. It doesn't even fit in a Calyx. It's taller than an Absolute. The art is wonderful. I, I'm not gonna show you much from inside because there is a lot of not safe for work material. But, you know, when you have stuff like this, I don't know if you can hear me right, but when you have stuff like this, the 
intricate details and the uh, wonderful colors and all that fun stuff uh, in this book. Man, th this this is a thing of beauty. I don't necessarily understand what's happening in this series, with it being a volume four, but I am very interested because uh, to but I am very interested in picking up the rest of the earlier volumes and reading this series because it looks pretty badass, to be honest with you. And uh, from forty dollars retail, I got it for I think it was fourteen dollars or something like that. So that was a steal. I was. Uh, uh, willing to do a blind purchase uh, based on my friend's recommendation, so there you go. And if I don't like it, well, we have Omar to blame, so there you go. As for trade paperbacks, not a whole lot. I was able to get Moonshine Volume 2. I did a review on Volume 1, if you want to check that out. Uh, pretty interesting. Unnatural from Image. Uh, this is a little risque series, but it's pretty fun. I will do a video on it, uh, talking about the series. And of course, my favorite lady in comic books. Actually, no. Um, I always have this dilemma because uh, I love uh, Barbara Gordon, uh, MJ, uh, Zatanna, Wonder Woman, and uh, Mira. So it's a toss up between all of these uh, characters I just mentioned. But yeah, one of my favorite characters in comic books, Mira, Queen of Atlantis. This is the solo series written by Dan Abnett and art by Lan Medina and that wonderful, wonderful cover art by Art Germ. This looks impressive as hell and I love it. And if you're wondering, uh, you can read it by itself, but if you have a knowledge of what's happening in the Abnett uh, Rebirth run, you're going to enjoy it a ton more because it is set within that run, within stuff that's happening post volume 4. So, there you go. Speaking of Aquaman, I did get Aquaman The Search for Mira Deluxe Edition. I did a video about collecting Aquaman, all the books that you need to have a, a chronological order and all that stuff. And this is awesome. I love that we're getting uh, deluxe hardcovers of older material. This is, of course, uh, from Steve Skates. Skeets? Skates? I'm sorry, Steve. Forgive me. And Jim Aparo. Uh, this is uh, collecting Aquaman issues 40 to 48 from the Silver Age. Uh, this is pretty awesome, man. I mean, this. I'm saying this a lot. <laughs> Here's the reason why you need deluxe editions. Look at how beautiful these restored, recolored, remastered images and pages look. This is what you guys would want. Not those stupid um, uh, showcases that were printed in cheap, <laughs> that were printed in cheap uh, uh, newspaper quality, paper bag, black and white, none of that stuff. This is what I'm talking about. This is awesome. I, I can't uh, recommend it enough. If you want to read classic Aquaman material and you don't want to go Golden Age goofiness, uh, this is the way to go. I really love this can't recommend it enough. By the way, this has one of the coolest uh, covers ever. Check this out. Like, you get this dope image from uh, the book. I love this uh, title right there. But check out the spine. Look at, look at that. Can you see that? I wish every comic book had spines like this. It's so bright and colorful. I love it, man. It's, it's pretty badass. It's Aquaman. It's my favorite DC character. What, what, were you expecting me to say? I don't know. I'm trying to be objective, but it's really hard to when you get, uh, when finally you get your second ever uh, deluxe hardcover, right? Second ever deluxe hardcover. Speaking of oversized hardcovers, Batman Rebirth Deluxe Edition Volume 3. I'm not really collecting a lot of Rebirth stuff in uh, hardcovers and all that stuff. I'm just focusing on Superman and Batman for the time being. Uh, because uh, they're pretty badass, and this has some pretty key issues that people like, like that second annual. From Image, we have The Wicked Plus The Divine Volume 3. This is awesome. Look at that coloring right there. Continuing my TMNT run, we have T uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW Collection Volume 8 with Rocksteady and Bebop, and those great looking spines. Omnis, uh, a pretty monumental omnibus came out, and unfortunately, since, uh, and I don't mean this in any way, I'm not throwing shade or anything, but since in-stock trades, 
uh, deliveries take so long to get to my address uh, they simply did not arrive in time uh, for me to geek out over Aquaman Volume 6 Rebirth and of course the Aquaman by Jeff Johns Omnibus. A lot of people are really excited, one, that they finally own it and can read it and in some shape or form they're excited that I can finally own it as well. And I can't wait to do a video on it. As soon as I get it, I will do a, a, a read through again of all that material that I read so many years ago and do like a proper omnibus review and all that stuff for you guys. Just stay tuned for that. But we do have other omnis that I want to show you. You've got Silver Surfer from Dan Slott. This was an upgrade. I love this run and I was really excited to own it in this omnibus. And because I love uh, Fantastic Four, I had to do this. I upgraded from my Ultimate Collection uh, trade paperbacks and got the Wade and Marengo Fantastic Four Omnibus. All the Omnibros have already mentioned it, I'm not innovating here, but if you want a solid entry point into the Fantastic Four, something that's one, reader friendly, two, badass, three, has great writing and art, this is the way to go. This is an amazing collection to have in your library. I wholeheartedly uh, recommend this as one of the best entry points into uh, Fantastic Four. So that's it for books, that's it for mangas. Uh, no figures or pops or anything like that or statues, but I do have a ton of Blu-rays that I want to show you guys. It's a mix of orders that I already had, like pre-orders and stuff, uh, right stuff, holiday sales, Black Fridays, all that stuff. So yeah, let's start with DVDs. As is tradition with most of my hauls, this is Naruto Shippuden set 36. We only have two more to go and finally collecting all of Naruto uh, will be a reality. I have every, almost every uh, release so far. I'm only missing uh, the filler movies, which technically don't really count for the story. But uh, yeah, we are nearly there. This is set 36 with episodes 459 to 472. That's a lot of Naruto. Uh, from Aniplex, this was part of their holiday sale where everything was on sale and it was a nightmare for us fans and collectors, but I finally was able to get one of my favorite series that I had watched a while ago. This is Silver Spoon, the complete first season on DVD. Unfortunately, it's not on Blu-ray. Uh, and the second season of Silver Spoon. I am really excited. I love this series so much. This is from uh, Hiro Murakawa, the uh, mangaka for uh, Fullman Alchemist. This is her other series, which is pretty awesome. These next uh, Blu-rays, we're getting into Blu-rays, are uh, leftovers from Black Friday that were not featured on the previous haul video. It is Justice League Unlimited, the complete series, which was uh, going for cheap. And I got for like seven or eight dollars, uh, Deadpool 2, the super duper cut on 4K. Here we have more series, more anime shows that I uh, acquired. This is Made in Abyss. I will be doing a series review pretty soon on this title. Fate Stay Night, the complete collection. I upgraded from my uh, DVD singles from Genion back in the day. I had those and I upgraded to this uh, Blu-ray set. Fate Stay Night, Heaven's Feel, uh, Presage Flower, number one or whatever. And this, this is from Aniplex. And if I may, uh, if you know me online, you know that I have a, I have a thing. I have a beef, I guess, with a large company that doesn't really know I exist. But whatever. If you're going to spend, and if you're going to charge so much money for this. Oh, man. Uh, let me show you guys. Hold up. Let me put those on the floor. Uh, I can't remember right now. I think... I think this was 30 something, nearly 40. And all you get for that amount is just a single disc for a two hour movie. When you are charging like 60 something dollars on right stuff because they have the exclusivity and all that stuff, you're charging like 60, almost 70 bucks for, okay. I get it. It's a deluxe edition, like it's larger, it has an art book and cards or whatever you want to pack in there. The format looks nice. Like I get it, you want to charge that much. But for like 40, nearly 40 bucks to just have this, it's kind of ridiculous where 
this cost me 13 and at least yeah there there is more than one disc involved or for like 20 bucks I can get um, I can get the full series 13 episodes which is more of a running time than this really and you're gonna say oh but the you know it's a prestige and Aniplex does things differently this is a regular blu-ray case it just happens to be clear plastic this is blue different companies and they have a buttload of money because the money they're charging for the full sets for like a uh, full series like uh, Fate Zero, uh, Unlimited Blade Works, uh, Nisekoi, whatever, all those other shows that they have, Erased, they're charging so much money for it. You would assume that they have uh, the income to uh, at least put this out in like a $25 Blu-ray. Makes sense. I don't know. I'll let you guys be the judge. Regardless, it's an awesome movie. I love the Fate series, so I'm really excited to own this. And by the way, this is one of three. So yeah, it's gonna be pretty pricey getting all of these movies. Next up, a couple of save ugly editions that people don't like. I remember when these were coming out way back in the day, people were furious, but it is a uh, amazing value edition, so I get it, I'm not complaining. Ugly spine aside, I did get uh, Sengoku Basara seasons one and two with the OVAs, and I gotta give a big shout out. I think this was, uh, a Christmas slash birthday gift combined from my friend Nick. Nick, thank you so much. This is Shiki, the complete series. I do think this is out of print, so it might be a little bit rare to get, or a little harder to find. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to talking about this in the next year. Uh, finally, I can finish Digimon Adventure Try. This is the last volume, uh, movie six, titled uh, subtitled Future. So yeah, finally, I can... Uh, finish uh, watching Digimon Adventure and uh, for a whopping price of five dollars each I was able to get one of my uh, one of those series that I've been eyeing for so many uh, months now or years it is Space Brothers this was from Sentai and they're uh, a super amazing sale so we have eight volumes which contain uh, 99 episodes uh, it bugs me that it wasn't a hundred but Whatever, that's just my OCD talking. So there's the matching spines, and here's the cover for volume one. My two brothers that choose space careers and all the hijinks that that involve. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty fun series, I, I do recommend it. Nearly there, guys. Uh, next up, Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid. This is really cute and really awesome, and I don't care what you think about uh, my uh, Guilty Pleasures, but this is awesome. No, I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't really have uh, Guilty Pleasures. I like what I like, and that's it. Uh, this is a pretty uh, a hilarious series uh, with a lot of heart. It has fan servers, but it has a ton of heart, and everybody's cute as heck in this. This was on sale. Uh, the Certain Magical Index movie subtitle. What's the subtitle on this? The Miracle of Endymion. I haven't seen this yet, so I'm very much looking forward to it. I love the Index and Railgun universe. And I did an upgrade. I got myself the, uh, this was on sale as well. This is the first season of Bleach, episodes 1 to 27. It's going to be a long road getting everything in uh, HD, but it, I think it's going to be worth it. I love Bleach as well. And to finish off the haul, whew, it's been a long haul. Uh, this is a little bittersweet. You have the limited editions Kill a Kill, you've got volumes one and four. I say bittersweet because there's the cover, back cover. I say it's bittersweet because uh, the series is out of print. Aniplex in their mighty wisdom, of course, uh, let this go out of print, probably on purpose, I don't know. These are the only two volumes that were still on sale. And uh, thank God, because I was able to get them for cheap. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't have bothered. And I said, you know I, what? I have already seen this series. I liked it, and I wanted to have something of it for the collection, even if it just, even if it were just uh, volume one with a couple episodes. Uh, like uh, here, I would have been content. But you know, at the same time, I looked at the other volume, and I'm like, 
yeah, I'm not going to be able to get the other two, uh, the other three sets, but whatever. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll uh, treat myself with it, I guess. Plus, the collection is pretty awesome. You get posters and art cards, soundtracks, and Blu-rays and all that stuff. So, as a public service announcement, if you guys want to help me out, if you have the ability to track down, or you know maybe somebody might be selling uh, sets two, three, or five, if you want to give me a shout out, help me out and get those volumes. I know nothing, I know it's very unlikely that it'll happen, but hey, you know, if uh, different shows can get reboots after many years, you know, it's possible that one, they could go back and print someday, and two, uh, some kind soul might want to sell them or something. I don't know. Uh, anyways, so yeah, Kill the Kill Volume 1 Limited Edition with all the uh, special features and all that stuff. Guys, that is it. That is, as it for the haul, I think it's one of the biggest ones I've done on this channel. Thank you guys so much. Uh, I want to thank you for an awesome 2018. The numbers were way up compared to 2017. Thank you. It really means a lot. And hopefully, with 2019, we can get those numbers double or triple the amount. We can get more subscribers, more people to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that fun stuff as well. Uh, we get people sharing content. I'm going to be doing, uh, I'm mostly going to be doing reviews and all that stuff, but I am going to be experimenting with uh, series reviews and movies, anime, more anime and manga content, which I love, and just, you know, bring back the uh, original mission of a Week in Geekdom, which was talking about geeky stuff, you know, everything uh, from gaming and all that stuff. So we'll see how that shapes up. No promises, but that's just sort of the things that you can look forward to in 2019. Thank you once again to every single one of you that has liked, commented, or subscribed to this channel. Thank you so much for sharing the, uh, these videos. And uh, that's it, 2018, so long, and let's welcome the new year. Thank you, everybody. God bless. I hope you have a an amazing new year. I wish you nothing but the very best. I have got to go, and I will gadget all of you on 2019. <laughs>